It's hard to imagine how people handled illnesses without modern medicine, but that's exactly what Victorians had to do. During the 19th century, many medical treatments were unproven or ineffective. As a result, Victorians relied on everyday items and treatments which could help alleviate the symptoms of illnesses. For minor ailments such as headache, Victorians often turned to herbal remedies and home remedies. Plants such as feverfew and chamomile were frequently added to teas and salves to help relieve pain or reduce fever. It was also common for Victorians to use such items as onions, garlic, and honey to treat a variety of conditions. In some cases, Victorians would also turn to more experimental treatments. One of the more popular treatments was leeches. They were believed to draw impurities in the blood and help restore balance. Despite the questionable effectiveness of leeching, it was a popular treatment for illnesses such as fever and headaches during the Victorian era. Other treatments also ran the gamut from the strange to the downright bizarre. Bloodletting, in which a vein is open to allow bad blood to be drained out, was, was used for conditions such as fever, asthma, mercurial ointments, which contain poisonous mercury, were used to treat problems such as eczema. And although most of these treatments seemed outdated and downright wrong, some did help many Victorians deal with the ailments of everyday life. And despite modern medicine being a long way off, Victorians found ways to make do with the resources they had available to them. Even if these treatments may not have been effective in curing illness, did provide relief from the symptoms.